seasonal farm jobs, which outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson claimed would be filled by Britons following Brexit, remain vacant. I don't think it has ever been so difficult, says Derek Wilkinson, managing director of vegetable grower Sandfields Farms in central England. Prior to Brexit, Britain's agricultural and construction sectors had relied heavily on workers from Central and Eastern Europe, many of whom have since returned home. Wilkinson, 55, points out that seasonal labourers must now apply for a special visa, which can take seven weeks to come through. According to Indeed economist Kennedy, there is a total shortfall of around 200,000 to 300,000 European workers, including many Ukrainians who have stayed home to fight in the war against Russia with other Eastern Europeans going back to home countries that have recently become more prosperous, and Britons themselves showing little inclination to take on such back-breaking work, many employers are having to look further afield for seasonal staff from the Philippines, South Africa and Uzbekistan. Wilkinson said that with a shortfall of 120 staff in May, Sandfields Farms would have to let 40,000 kilos of asparagus and 750,000 bunches of spring onions go to waste. And coupled with Britain's cost of living crisis, that means his annual profits this year will be halved. In order to woo workers, companies are having to offer better pay and conditions.